and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to talk about is the world and India specifically really ready for the Omicron surge. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims, from the perspective of mains examination it can span through second, third and fourth and of course from the perspective of a common man even if you are not preparing for the examination you should know. So there are many topics that we are going to discover under it. That's starting from the news about the new variant. We have already discussed in detail about the new variant in one of our series because that, that was for the first time ever when we chose to talk about it when the Omicron variant was, uh, was actually said that it was a variant of concern. Then we will talk about how is the world prepared, the India's status and challenges do remain and in conclusion certain new facts will be introduced. And in the last of the segment, I'll give you a means-based question for answer writing practice. Let's begin. And this article which has been uh, sourced from the Indian Express, as you can see, very important newspaper for uh, UPSC aspirants and state PCS aspirants. So uh, we are going to analyze about the remarkable difference that is going to stay between 2020, 2021 and 2022. Because uh, when we talk about the emergence of the Delta variant, India and the world was not ready. We were mistakenly uh, actually celebrating that it is going to be the end of the pandemic when from September they started, uh, the cases started to decline. But India was caught off guard. We all know the ferocity of the Delta surge that happened in February, March and April and so many people lost their near and dear ones. So how is it going to be different, different this year? and the year that is passing away and of course 2020 so we will discuss all about that hmm? and as you can see worries remain but india and the world are better prepared better prepared with respect to vaccination better prepared with respect to therapeutics better uh, prepared early warning system we have we have a uh, better knowledge about how we can save ourselves even if we are if we are traveling okay so we have all the information right now with us what is the appropriate COVID behavior that we should agree by? What is the impacts? What are the impacts of vaccination? What are the therapeutics? We know a lot if we compare one year ago, the knowledge we had one year ago. So everything will be discussed in detail. So as you can see, first, this is a graph which is telling you about the peak of the COVID-19 cases, the Delta variant which uh, which ravaged the entire globe and specifically South Asian countries such as India where people saw hospitalization, people saw death on the streets, it was just horrendous and how after a period of time, after May 6th, since the last five months we saw constant decline, constant decline should not be celebrated as we started celebrating its uh, departure in September 2020 and we paid the price for it and again as you can see India Although is not recording a lot of cases, we had 600 odd cases of Omicron since it was first flagged in India. In just a span of 20 to 25 days, it has, of course, reached uh, an amount we can worry about. So we have to understand we should not be celebrating it, but we still have certain concerns. So with respect to the world, we have the vaccines, the impacts of vaccines, which is pretty evident now. We have many therapeutics and we have had hit and trial errors with respect to many other therapies such as plasma therapy, remdesivir, which has now, be ta now been taken down. So we have to understand that whatever drugs, whatever vaccination, whatever obstructions that we are preparing right now, it's just based on, based on very nascent, very early impacts. Not a lot of study has been done. So as we can see, about the new variant, the new variant is uh, much transmissible, much more transmissible than the double mutant that was Delta. Oddly, it occurred at the same time. At the same time, if we talk about last year, Delta started circulating in the Indian society and that was uh, after two months, it was flagged that it's a variant of concern. It is taking a toll on people's lives. But Omicron has been, it has been flagged much earlier than Delta, thank you to the better genetic surveillance system that we have developed over the over the past few months right now. And although it has 50 mutations or 50 mutations and specifically the mutations are helping in the COVID uh, new variant to evade people's immunity. It is 
not as according to whatever studies that we have right now it is not causing a very severe disease it is causing a much milder disease and it is not causing hospitalization that is the best thing so scientists are also saying that this might be the beginning of the end and the covid after this will circulate as a normal any sort of normal virus so the new variant the first known confirmed b.1.1529 infection was from a specimen collected on 9th november it was flagged from south africa after that it crossed 50 plus countries within just a span of 1 to 2 months and that actually fulfilled the first criteria of being the variant of concern and it was first reported to the who from south africa on 24 november after that we saw many travel restrictions people were scared government were scared that if they do not ban or impose travel restriction it might happen that imported cases of covid-19 omicron variant is causing will cause a destruction and that is what we saw in uk and us even after after the travel bans uk did report a surge us is reporting such a huge surge they are reporting much more a surge than they reported at their peak time at the last peak time four to five times more cases but death has not risen that much that death has risen marginally and uh, if we talk about india this is 600 plus odd cases we have maharashtra is reporting the most odd cases uh, delhi has now become a yellow alert a union territory so we have to understand that even if india is in a better place but we still are seeing surges and bihar the chief minister of bihar has already said that bihar is starting to witness third wave and uh, if we talk about omicron as i told you it started being reported in more than 50 plus countries now it has increased and we must understand that even if it is causing mild disease what if it mutates into into a more deadly one okay let's move forward and talk about uh, where does the world stand right now with respect to vaccination and booster dose so now with respect to vaccination the vaccinated are and the unvaccinated they are the same right now because breakthrough infections are happening breakthrough infections are happening because uh, the vaccines which have been developed which are being used right now it was developed against the very early strains now the strain has mutated many times because of that the antibodies which have been induced into our body because of vaccination or even because of an earlier infection the antibodies are not able to recognize the new strain and that is why breakthrough infections are happening this is not the uh, mistake or the fault of the scientist community or anyone but because the sheer nature of the virus is such that it keeps on changing and that is why vaccines of any virus becomes very difficult to develop and the good thing is that covid from delta to omicron took a good one year to mutate mutate into a deadlier variant of concern but we have to understand that it can mutate even better so we cannot be complacent we cannot just sit hand on hand and think about that it's over everything is very uncertain right now and the uk has reported about 40 deaths among the omicron infected people but it is not as of yet confirmed that it was because of omicron variant or something incidental sometimes it might happen that uh, due to some other factors death can happen and india has just now recently authorized booster vaccination booster vaccination for those who are senior citizens and frontline workers they should get vaccinated the roll out plan will be from january 10th as we know that the biggest vaccination drive adult vaccination drive in india for covid-19 started on january 16th this year itself and a good 9 to 12 month period has been allotted from the last from the second dose of covid-19 vaccines for those for senior citizens and frontline workers to have better immunity better precaution against the covid-19 variant and also not to even booster if we talk about the you know, one developed by novavax and produced in india by serum institute of india has been it has been okayed and also another one which is from hyderabad based biological e in association with belor college of medicine the corbevax has also been okayed and it will be manufactured by 13 entities in india 
so india is all set okay so here we have the better things to talk about if we talk about vaccines okay then we have therapeutics now from india's perspective india's perspective india on tuesday cleared monopiravir which is an antiviral drug it is a pill it is an oral antiviral repurposed drug it was earlier made for influenza but it has been repurposed from the perspective for being servants to the covid-19 infection and that is for emergency use and this is for those patients who uh, to prevent the development of severe condition any patient which are is showing uh, any symptoms of getting more severely ill by omicron this can be served to the person and also to uh, here it is written severe conditions in people infected with mild and no symptoms sometimes people might not show any symptoms as well now the thing is is this the beginning of the end as the scientist community is saying that as much the virus mutates it becomes more circulating in nature and hence it will it might start to disappear eventually so this is one thing that uh, the virus even though it has mutated it has hopefully i cross my fingers it has actually uh, it is getting weaker and weaker so one thing that we need to understand is the milder or the more transmissible a virus is the less severity it causes ebola was very severe that is why it couldn't become a pandemic once you get infected you become so ill that you aren't able to leave your house and then forget the a uh, question of transmitting it to transmitting it to much larger population similarly is with it it was with the first variant the first one so people if they got really ill they couldn't infect more people are getting less ill they can infect more people but again conditions are not certain so for the best thing we can do right now is get vaccinated get our booster doses when our time comes and follow the covid appropriate behavior please do follow it okay let's move forward and talk about how india has geared up to roll its booster or precaution dose plan from january 10th india is also working india has worked towards getting booster jabs and vaccinate kids because kids are not vaccinated now omicron variant although it is mild but it is it has started to affect kids impact kids and of course we talk about the next one which is how is the world prepared and molnupiravir is important with respect to india as i have already told you the name is molnupiravir mk4482 eidd2801 okay we have talked about molnupiravir but if you want to take a screenshot you can take it okay uh, yes the important thing is how does it work it actually introduces errors into the genetic code of sars cov2 and hence it can't replicate up to that the possibility of replication becomes nil and it is administered as four 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 tablets will be there four capsules will be there of 200 mg and it will be taken orally after every 12 hours for just 5 days if it goes further than 5 days it can impact it, it can have ill impacts and for children below the age of 18 years it is not advisable because it impacts bone and cartilage formation this is this is a study that has been conducted over molnupiravir so remember it is repurposed initially it was for influenza okay now of course we have already talked about that corbevax so it has been developed by biological e okay and that's a hyderabad based institute also uh, baylor college of medicine remember the names it can be asked in interview and it can be asked in your prelims exam as well it's a booster shot shot okay and if we talk about challenges the biggest challenge is the sheer nature of the virus we do not know is it going to mutate further or it is just causing very mild disease right now what if people start to get more and more severely sick although it might happen that if all these vaccination booster doses molnupiravir all works the surge will be controlled so first is sheer nature of the virus there is not enough study not enough studies studies are at a very nascent stage with respect to omicron not the uh, delta variant but with respect to omicron we do not have proper studies second problem is that human tolerance people have become really really bored 
in fact if you i'm just talking about from a from an informal perspective if you visit markets if you visit somewhere people are not wearing masks anymore this is the sheer nature of human beings that do not want to be contained but what if a person dies and after that he won't be contained forever he she won't be contained forever so we have to understand although we have very less tolerance even i do not want to wear masks sometimes but we have to do it not only for our our safety but for our parent safety for the safety of others as well please do wear masks then there is a lack of awareness lack of awareness with respect to how the virus works so we have heard it in our homes as well oh how many times how many variants are there this and that i do not believe this news parents do say that right but we have to make them aware that this is the nature of the virus the nature has made the virus like this that it can mutate and new variants can come along okay then we have trial and error trial and error so many methods even in the period of delta we had the plasma therapy we had remdesivir which worked wonders for some people but for for many reasons it was taken down by the who and even icmr that it's not advisable to use that therapy so similarly for omicron it can be the same okay let's uh, move forward and of course we remember hydrochloroquine for malaria that was used for delta okay now in conclusion i have introduced certain facts this is from hindustan times so a tracker has been developed by researchers at the university of cambridge it predicted that the new infections will begin to rise from the last week of december an iit kanpur study has pointed out that the third wave of pandemic in india may peak by february 3rd this is by iit kanpur in delhi we are already seeing surge in bihar and maharashtra and the southern states of india so it might peak it might again these are just on the worst case scenario if people stop wearing masks if people don't maintain physical distance if people stop uh, sanitizing their hands if they are not following the covid appropriate behavior so on that it is based it might not be that okay on february 3rd only this will happen okay so the rise in the cases according to this prediction it should have started by december 15 the national covid 19 supermodel committee projected that the third wave is expected to peak early next year and the member said that the daily case load is expected to increase once omicron starts replacing delta as dominant variant delta is still the king of variants right now okay and south african doctor angelique koitzi who first identified the omicron variant please remember this name okay this could be asked in the examination and who first identified this variant recently said india will see a surge in covid cases primarily driven by omicron but the infections will be mild okay now let's look at our main space question discuss about the impending third wave of covid in india and how would it be different from the second wave in 250 words okay so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching